Hello, I'm Kerry Grinkmeyer. And I'm Natalie Nixon, and we're with Realty South. We're here today at our feature listing, the Roberts Estate in Old Mountain Brook. This beautiful home was the dream of a Scottish clansman by the name of Donna Che. He contracted for it to be built in 1926 by David, the, what is now the Davis Architectural Firm. He actually never took possession of the home. It took three years to build it. Uh, he lost his fortune in the stock market, so it was never taken. In the 50s, it was bought by the Gaines family, and uh, they lived here for a number of years, and then the Roberts bought it in the early 80s. It's the Roberts who have really made the big changes to the home, added the addition, doubling the space, and making it what it is today. This is the formal living room. Natalie, can you imagine this in the 1930s? Oh, absolutely. Just the magnificent moldings and the mantle crafted in Italy, the hardwood floors. What a fantastic room. It is, and it's 90 the... years old. What a view. Isn't this grand? It's just lovely. Here we are in another original room to the home, the formal dining room, greeted by more finely crafted molding and these beautiful hardwood floors. I'd love to have Thanksgiving dinner here. Oh, Wouldn't can you just imagine? This It'd would be, be wonderful. Absolutely lovely. It's a fantastic room. Anyone who entertains would be envious of a pantry like this. Beautiful cabinetry, wonderful lighting, places to put all of your fine glasses. Then, if that isn't enough, we have plenty of room over here to store all of your other crystal and china plates. Absolutely fabulous. Well, I see you're at the heart of where all good parties take place. I, I found the place. I've been told this is five foot by nine foot piece of granite. Wow, well, it's absolutely exquisite. It fits the kitchen perfectly. It absolutely it, does, and I understand this is part of the uh, newer part of the home. Yes, it, uh, the addition started in 1998, was mm -hmm. finished in 201, I believe. Very nice. And uh, you can't tell on the outside of the house or the inside of the house it where blends the, beautifully. other than it's modern. Right, very true. Check out these appliances. Absolutely. Well, and I know the kitchen boasts two dishwashers, <laughs> so I know that comes in That's very handy. Party. It's a fantastic <laughs> party. We're now entering the great room, uh, part of the new addition. And notice how it blends in so well with Absolutely. the original house. Looks like it's been here forever. And I have just got to see this fireplace. Mantle. Oh. This is absolutely gorgeous. I understand it dates back to the 1600s. Wow, and I think it started its life in France, made its way to England, and was found in Ohio. You know more than I do. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. And the, uh, the chandelier in this room absolutely just makes the room. Oh, yeah. I also understand that was originally found in the original Tutwiler Hotel original. in the lobby. I, I also noticed the transom windows in the room. Um, I understand the homeowner had a part in designing those, and they just set the room off lovely. Let it glass, I believe. Let it glass, yeah. absolutely. And just the light in this room, it's just, it's just warm and inviting, yet it's very grand. And look at these bookcases. Good night. Yeah, you that can. Is, th this reminds me of the Vanderbilt estate up in... Uh, in um, oh, in Asheville. Yes, yeah, sure yes, does. yeah the library. Does. Look what I found just off the great room a wet bar, wine storage. The handmade cabinetry is just to be envied. We're now moving into the what was the morning room. Right. It's still part of the original home. Beautiful. What would the morning room have done? Oh, can you imagine having morning tea in a, in a, in wow. a croissant maybe or a, in that view? Yes, what a great magnificent. View. And I understand the current homeowner is using it as her office now. Very not functional. A, not a bad way to spend a morning, right? <laughs> right right off the master bedroom. And this is part of the new house. It is, it is, it is. Um, and it's like a resort in here. It's um, the I'm on size, vacation. the beauty. You're on vacation, right? <laughs> I wouldn't mind coming home to this after a day's work. My wife would love this. Well, and again, keeping with the theme, I believe the homeowners did a wonderful job in keeping with the theme of the original home. Even to the crown molding. Absolutely. Wow. A absolutely. And the floors, yes. they match almost perfectly. And then this is the master bath, I take it. Yes, it is. Shall we see? Shall we see? <laughs> <laughs> what a magnificent master bathroom. Absolutely. 
I think this is a master bathroom that my husband and I could actually get along in. All right. I appreciate the separate uh, dressing vanity areas. And look at those absolutely amazing sinks. They're Cheryl Wagner, 24 karat gold plated. Oh my goodness. That Can is you imagine? Magnificent. And this tub, I think this is a two party tub. I think it could what be. What do they call this? A, lump, a lumbar. A lumbar. lumbar. It's, it's apparently very good for those with, uh, with back problems. Okay. So, and uh, not to be overshadowed by this grand shower. Wow. And uh, again, floor to uh, ceiling travertine, I understand. We're now in the sitting room, mm. which is off of the master bedroom wonderful. and also connected to the formal living room. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, I can't help but yet again to be drawn to these fabulous fireplace <laughs> mantles. This one's a beautiful one too. And as every woman knows, you can't have enough storage in a home. Yes. And um, every room we go in seems to have just wonderful storage. I think this is just, just fabulous. And there's a tremendous amount of closet space in this house. We're entering the second floor from the staircase off the kitchen. It has two convenient staircases, one off the, the foyer from the old house and then one from the new. We have four bedrooms and a possible fifth up here. Each of the bedrooms have their own private bath. This is the second upstairs bedroom. You'll notice immediately how large it is and how spacious. It was used last as a young lady's room. It has its own full bathroom with shower. And then it has a dressing room off to the left here that has its own closets and built-in storage as well as a built-in vanity. This is the third upstairs bedroom again with its own private bath as with all the others and as you can see down the hall it has its own sitting room which has been used in the past as a nursery. We're now in the lower level. This is the recreation room, media room, exercise room, whatever you might want it to be. You'll see out the, the doors that it uh, opens to a veranda. It has a wet bar, fully functional with refrigerator and, uh, and sink. So it's whatever you want to make it into. The estate is on almost three acres of beautiful land in Old Mountain Brook, right up from Jamison Park. So it is a one of a kind piece of property. The estate has a two bedroom uh, guest house over to the left here. As you can see from the size of the estate, the three acres give you plenty of room for a pool, a tennis court. You've got a sunken garden down here. I believe it's probably one of the few homes you can find in this community or in Alabama or in many parts of the United States where you could raise a family in a magnificent neighborhood and have everything that you could possibly want. I think it's magnificent. I first came in here and I told the owner, this is not a home. This is like the Hope Diamond. It's a gem. There's only one like it anywhere in the world. Come see it, enjoy it, make it your family's home.